Hello Rolls, Rolls Royce fans, today we have a resin model of the Cullinan with supposedly a Mansory body kit on it. So it's a little questionable though because I can't find any images of anything that looks like this. This is a new brand to me, it says Nice Auto. Uh, yeah, okay. Not much else, nothing about Mansory or Rolls Royce, so it's obviously unlicensed. So you'll see in the back there, that's the Mansory webpage, and those are the types of things you can do uh, to your man to your pulling it. But uh, all, these top three have these side vents here. This one doesn't, but then it doesn't have the bumper that has uh, a bunch of venting. So yeah, and then no images I could find have venting in front of the rear wheel. I couldn't find any anything like that. So this might be a bit of a fantasy casting. Also, I couldn't find any Mansory Rolls Royces that have such pronounced fender flares, which we'll, you'll see in a moment. So this is taped together. Okay, so that's good, I guess. Keeps this thing from just falling apart when you pull it out of the box. So we have a carbon sticker or something on the base plate, and then the the badge is very shiny, photoish metal. So it does have the NA logo, and it actually does say nice auto. And this is limited to like a 200 pieces. I think there's a green and a black version as well. It's interesting they would actually have the Rolls Royce logo there as well. Okay, so I'm not gonna take this off the base. Uh, so again, look at this photo here. Look at the fender flares. Those are, I think, are just stock flares. But look how big these flares are. And there's also a vent there. I couldn't find anything with that. So I'm going to just close these windows out because I can't really compare it to any of these things. We're just going to have to appreciate this model on its own. Whether or not it really exists in real life, I don't know. Alright, so the white, is it metallic? I think it is a pearl, a pearl color. It's got a lot of flake in it. There we go. Oh, this is going to be hard to focus on with such shiny wheels. They're chromed plastic, I assume. I think it's got an RR in the center cap. So that's a nice little detail. And then, yeah, the, the wheels are molded. You know, they go in quite a bit. They're not flat wheels. The little spoke detail is very nice. Uh, the tires are rounded, so that looks good. And you don't see major knobbies going on like it's like it's a mud mud digging kind of uh, truck, you know. It's, this is a road truck. You'll notice the stance is slammed quite a bit. The tires don't have any gear, air gap between the fenders on up top, so it's not going to roll. <laughs> don't even need to ask that. Uh, big, big, huge brake caliper. Looks like it might be silver in color. And I guess there must be a, a rotor back there, but let me get the flashlight. Yeah, maybe it's just blocked off by the wheel itself being so huge. But yeah, you can see right through there. Okay, rear wheel. Yeah, brake caliper again. It's a molded brake caliper. It's three-dimensional, so that's good. And I'm sure those are actually pretty big brakes in real life. It's just this, this thing has giant wheels on it. All right, behind that wheel well, we have a Rolls Royce badge. The RR is a, it's a photo etched piece. So very shiny, and yet the text is uh, recessed into it, I guess. And then uh, you can now see the metallic paint. It looks very nice. It's uh, very pearl. It's, it's kind of smooth. You can see some orange peel here in the reflection. It's the wrong pick. Uh, so. Yeah, it's a little orange peely. There is a photo etch piece here for the lock mechanism. And these door handles are nice. They're actually molded plastic. There's a recess there for the fingers to grab onto. So you can see the windows. It's just one piece of thin plastic and they tinted the back windows. And then they have a photo etch piece of, wait, maybe not, no. This, this chrome is part of the printing. It's on the back surface. So there's no separate metal piece representing the doors door frames I don't know if that's good or not eh, 
you know, it's totally flat, which is kind of weird, you know? When you have the separate metal piece, it just looks more realistic, I think. But I guess the car is trying to have flush windows, being so modern. Well, you know, leave a comment what you think about that. The mirror is a separate piece, and uh, there's a reflective sticker in there, so yeah, that's good. We have a little metal piece here for the running light, and that vent there, this uh, vent I cannot find photos of. It's got some black paint in there, it looks like, or maybe that's a separate piece, not sure. But then the chrome work here in the door is a separate piece, and it's got an etching for the door panel cut, so I think that's nice. You can see it's recessed here, and quite a lot of sculpturing going on in these, uh, this over fender kit of questionable uh, validity. Yeah, it's just, that's a big over fender kit. Couldn't find images of it. So the vent up here, it's got some black, could be a separate piece. And then some sort of like offset ins inset detail here. And then we have a double stacked uh, venting here. I don't think I could find images of two vents in this corner. I found images where it's just one, but not this. So anyways, the inside of it though, you have a separate piece with the uh, crosshatch pattern. And this here is pretty deep, and I think that's probably a separate piece as well. Headlights look good. Uh, it almost looks like there's text there, right? I can't tell. Uh, does it say hero or Rero? Ro? I don't know. No, I guess it's not supposed to be text, but it almost looks like a word. Okay, well, anyways, nicely molded, whatever that light bucket is. A bunch of LEDs, I guess, but what I'm touching here is perfectly smooth, so it's a two-piece uh, headlight. The grill, chromed plastic, sadly, uh, maybe too much of that chrome got on there because, you know, it shouldn't. Or what's probably happening is maybe they didn't paint enough black in between the chrome strips. That's a pretty easy fix, though. Uh, all right, so we have a separate badge for the Rolls Royce. I think this could be a decal. I don't know. Wait, wait. It's got some height to it. It could be a photo etch piece. The flying lady there looks pretty nice. Nicely done. Little so dimples for the sensors there. Uh, a little lint. Sorry. I'll have to get that off later. So yeah, now you can see the headlight. I don't think it's a word anymore, but for some reason that looks like a word over there. Okay, uh, up here, yeah, you can really see now the pearl metallic paint looks pretty good. These are just, oh, well, no, just some random dust or something. I'll have to clean this off later. Uh, all right. Sadly, this piece of black has bent out a little too much, and it bent my pick, so that might be metal. Again, some really low riding stance here. And these details on this side look pretty good, too. This side has the fuel filler door. So coming around to the back, we have another inset, offset well, set of lines here, a sensor dimple, and then that uh, reflector is a piece of metal. The tail lights look good. Nice uh, thick lenses with the backup light right in the middle, shining through. The exhaust is uh, chrome plastic with some black in there. I can't tell um, if it's a separate piece or not. I think it's just paint. Could be wrong though. More dimples, maybe the tow hook hatch there. There's a little chrome metal strip here at the bottom of the trunk, which is cool. And it's nice to see a license plate of some sort. It's a decal, I'm guessing, just based on the wrinkliness. And then here we have the uh, an RR emblem, I guess. So that, that's nice. It's a separate piece. Separate from this piece, whatever this is. This is a wing. And I guess that's a separate black wing. And so up here, this is just molded into the top. But the window goes quite a bit underneath it. So uh, however they molded that body, they did a good job. And it's interesting. You would think it'd be easier just to have this as a separate piece, but all right. And that's a highly blacked out rear window, just like the sides. Okay, I guess that's it for the rear. Now the interior, you can see the rear view mirror has a reflective sticker on it. And the, the front windows have a lighter tint, but they are tinted. And I'm not sure if the windscreen's tinted, but we have a black dash. The windshield wiper blades, they're very thin photo etched metal. 
I kind of feel like they're unrealistically thin. I think they could have been uh, thicker. And then they're, they're not bent. They're not bent 90 degrees to the windscreen. They're just perfectly flat. So at this day, at this time in the hobby, uh, those should be bent. Uh, almost all resin models have bent windscreen wipers. And yeah, so even the die casts, maybe they wouldn't have it, but they would have molded uh, white wipers that look three-dimensional. These just look too flat. But the blackout printing is nice. You know, it's got the little sensor, sensor areas. So that's cool. I can't tell what's going on on the side here. I don't know if that's just black paint on the casting or if a separate if it's a separate piece. The uh, this is a yeah piece of plastic tinted. Of course, you can see some glue residue. And the antenna there looks pretty nice. All right, sorry, back to the interior. Boy, I'm gonna have to put this down, lower the angle, get a flashlight in there, and let's see what we can find. Oh, all right, let me go to 15 lumens. Okay, so yeah, really nice details. Yeah, nice molded steering wheel. Look at the center console. All the vents and controls are, are marked out. I think there's a decal in the central con computer. And also the instrument cluster has gauges. Probably a decal. So that, that looks pretty good. Yeah, all right. Above the dash, above the glove box, there's some sort of detail. Not sure what that is. Maybe it's a clock or something. Hold on. Let's try this side. See if we can see the door panels. Yeah, so the door panels have some silver on them, an armrest. Seems all right. And now the seats. Yeah, they're molded seats. They look like they'd be leather. Anyways, I'm gonna have to raise this a little bit. And see if we can see some seat belts or things lower down. Oh yeah, look at this uh, center console again. can't zoom in any further than this but I think you can see now yeah uh, a lot of black and silver details on that center console uh, I think there's seatbelt buckles there hold on yeah they're painted red I'm not sure if it's showing up there uh, no seat belts that I can see if there's actually any light getting through the sunroof. Um, there isn't, I don't think. Or is there? It's so dark, this sunroof. It's crazy. Let's see if I shine light through this side. Alright, so you can see how dark these uh, windows are. I'm going to have to jump this up. 65 lumens? Still pretty dark. Oh, 200 lumens. Those are heavily smoked out windows. But yeah, there is a back interior. There's the whole center console. Uh, some seat details, right? So it's kind of weird that they would tint them so much when they actually had all the work done. Right? They actually have the details, but they're hiding them. It's very strange. <laughs> Okay, well, I mean, the 200 lumens is really bright. Okay, well, anyways, it's, it's a nice interior. It's just that it's hidden. I think this is the only 164 scale Rolls Royce that's made of resin. I think everything else is die cast. So I reviewed this Mansory one a long time ago. This is by Time Model. Now they go by Time Micro. And uh, it's a good model. Uh, they did a good job, I think. Uh, you'll notice the fender flares, they look more like the photo, they're not so tall. And this one also has a side venting. Uh, you'll notice how the windows here are molded and look more realistic than just a giant slab of clear plastic there. These are nicely done wheels as well. And it's got a crazy cool interior with a, a sunroof that you can get some light through, right? Same with the rear. So, really strange choices. 
uh, that uh, this NA model did in hiding all that effort. Uh, then uh, we have a DCM, uh, an old school Phantom 6. And again, nice interior because the windows aren't so tinted. This time also has air passing behind the uh, door handles. The wiper blades are more three-dimensional. Um, it's almost like this cheaper model is better. I, I think it is. It, it's just better detailed, even though it's made of die cast. I guess precision-wise, maybe this could be better, but uh, somewhere along the way, it just some parts of it just don't look as good. Uh, where this does have painted on side markers, this has literally metal pieces in it, and then separate exhaust tips where those are cast into the the body. But they both they all have the flying spirit of ecstasy there. Uh, yeah, so this diecast also has a lot of details on it too. So pleasantly, if you're a Rolls Royce fan, whatever your budget is, you can have a pretty nice model whether it's die cast or resin. So it's nice to have these options. All right, I think you could have paused that video by now. And then also for me, pleasantly, there's no major quality control problems, just somewhat weird design choices. So uh, I guess I'm pretty happy with this. And hopefully, hopefully this brand will stick around, do some other Rolls Royces or whatever other luxury cars, but if for some odd reason you see this video, maybe you should not tint the window so much. Uh, so you can actually take credit for, show off the work that you guys did. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, we'll see you in the next resin video.